Video showing a man grabbing an endangered sea turtle on the Big Island has the state land department investigating. It happened at Carl Smith Beach Park in Hilo. The witness tells us that the man was harassing the turtle even before he jumped in the water, which is why the witness started recording the incident. Hawaiian green sea turtles are protected by state and federal law, so it's illegal to touch them or harass them. How often does this happen, and what are the penalties? Manolo Morales got some answers. Manolo? Joe, state officials tell me it happens more often than we think. What makes this latest incident more disturbing was there were children around, and adults seemed to be setting a bad example. Royal Carroll tells me the man who jumped in the water started grabbing the turtle while he was on the shore with his family. They had small children with them, and I thought they were just another couple showing their kids. Um, and the guy reached down and grabbed the turtle by its rear fins and started pulling it out of the water. And he and the woman were laughing. So Carol tells me the man and the woman then started talking about riding the sea turtle. That's when I decided to pull my camera out. I thought that was pretty outlandish. So he jumped in the water, and when he grabbed the turtle the second time, I, I couldn't sit back and just let him, whatever he was going to try to do to it. So I, I spoke up. Carol filed a formal complaint with the State Department of Land and Natural Resources. An official there tells me complaints about sea turtles getting harassed come in practically every day. What we see a lot of times is tourists try to, and, and other folks as well, try to get close to them, try to touch them, try to ride them, which we really uh, don't, uh, you know, don't like. Uh, but just kind of inter the interaction should be minimal. It should be a natural interaction. Farrell tells me the state tries to educate the public about staying away from sea turtles through the different tour companies and the airlines. Volunteers are also stationed at popular beaches. Whether the turtles are out on the beach or swimming in the water, people are advised to stay at least 10 feet away and to avoid sudden movements. There are several turtles that are on the endangered species list, so any interaction that disturbs their natural behavior uh, could potentially be detrimental to survival of the species. The penalty for harassing a sea turtle ranges from $1,000 up to $10,500. The state points out that the video alone is not enough to prosecute the offender. Someone has to file an official complaint and be willing to testify. Anyone who sees sea turtles or other endangered species being harmed is asked to call the state at 643-DLNR. Manola Morales, KHON 2 News.